community and uh, come out to the field today to just do a quick demonstration of the SOTA Beams flight deck. Uh, SOTA Beams is uh, Richard G3 uh, Charlie Whiskey India and um, I've always been a bit of an advocate of uh, flight deck using uh, small portable radios even when I'm using them at home and uh, typically I've used a um, A4 clipboard and tried to clip radio, um, and pad, pencil, everything I need onto the uh, onto the clipboard. And this has been reasonably successful, but it's very hard to get things stuck down to it, uh, even using elastic bands. Um, but Richard has managed to find an ingenious way of uh, using his laser cutter and some perspex uh, to create a, a laser cut. Um, clipboard or flight deck, uh, which allows you to fix the elastic bands uh, very tightly around the equipment that you want to clip to board, and this is really successful. Um, I've used this a few times now and uh, I find it really, really good. Everything sticks to it really, really well. So, let me uh, just take you through using the clipboard, using the flight deck, and, uh, and how it looks in use. So this is how it works. The board has holes cut in it, which you um, push an elastic band through, and then you just feed the elastic band back through itself, so it holds in place like that. The great thing is, you don't lose the bands. When you take everything off, they, they stay connected. Uh, at the edge of the board, you'll notice little notches cut out. I'll drop in a detail of this, hopefully. Basically, what you do is stretch the band around whatever you want to connect to the flight deck, pull it around the little notch and there it is, it, it clips on nice and tightly and stays in place. So what does this look like with radios attached? So I've got the um, KX1 flight deck, so this one's specifically made for the Ellicraft KX1, I know Richard does a couple of different models for different radios. Um, the other nice thing about this is uh, this is set up to have pencil on the right hand side, key on the right hand side, radio at the top and a pad on the left hand side which typically works for right handed people. If you're left handed you just turn the whole thing over and you can uh, use it the other way around. So very very flexible from that point of view. So here I have my Ellicraft KX1 and you just sit it in whatever position you want at the top of the board pop these bands around the top like so and then just alter the position so that the bands aren't pressing on any of the buttons or rubbing against any of the knobs and it's pretty much designed um, to, to line up perfectly with the gaps between buttons and knobs. As you can see I'm holding it upright, the radio is pretty pretty attached. It rattles just a tiny bit if you hold it upside down but I have no concerns in, in wiggling it around and throwing it around like that. Um, those bands uh, are tight as you like, they're not going anywhere and the radio is quite secure there. So that's a radio on. Um, I use a Palm Nano. I've also got um, the Micro, I hope I got the naming of that right. Um, keys, but uh, either of them will fit quite nicely on this deck, and that just sits on on the side in that position. Um, quite nice. Your hand rests on it beautifully, and uh, it's it's a nice position to send. Um, I tend to try and keep all the wires under control. So let me feed my key wire around the, underneath the bands and that stops it from flapping around and getting in the way. And there we have one radio, one key. Again, that key is, is nicely, nice and firmly held to the, the deck. Um, when I've done this before, just using a, an A4 um, deck, you, you ha end up having to hold the key in place, either with your thumb or with your other hand while you're sending. I could never get the elastic bands over the top of it to hold it down tightly enough. So this works beautifully well. Final thing to go on the deck is your pad. 
Richard sends you a nice little notepad. I always mount this um, in, in this orientation because I'm right-handed and I'm going to rest my palm on the right-hand side of this. So I never want the spine on that side. So when I turn the page, I just turn the whole thing upside down. But again, that just sits on the lower part of the flight deck. Pull the bands over the top and voila! Richard sends you a pencil, a piece of string and a little strange elastic-y thing which I must admit I found a bit tight for the pencil and that just holds it all together. You can't lose your pencil. Uh, there is, I think, a position here to put a band at the bottom to hold the pencil in place but actually I just shoved up next to the key. It seems to work for me. And likewise, when I'm not using my headphones, I just roll them up and stick them in the top above the radio and that holds everything together and out of the way. Now there's, there's one addition that I've put um, on this that uh, I don't think Richard had really designed it to do, but it seems to work quite well. I like to carry my battery as well. And I use these lovely little cheap uh, lithium, Chinese lithium batteries. And I wanted to mount this on the deck somehow. And what I've ended up doing is putting a couple of extra bands on the back. Just release those. And release the front one as well. I don't want to do that. That's holding the radio. So put a couple of extra bands on the back. And I'm just going to put the radio under those two. I could probably get some tighter bands but actually that doesn't work too bad at all, even with that, that strength band. It sits on the back, as you can see, it's um, quite low profile. It still sits on the knee, reasonably comfortable. Don't mind having that sat on the back of it. Just props the front of the board up a little bit, so uh, angles the board quite nicely. So there you go. That is the Sota Beams KX1 flight deck, and it works brilliantly well. Uh, it now means that I can hold the whole thing in one place. The only thing I've got attached is the antenna and my headphones. Um, very easy to hold and send, rest on your knee, rest on a, a table, rest on a wall, whatever you're working around. Um, and, and you just write notes on, on the pad. So congratulations Richard, an excellent product. Uh, okay, so I've uh, just had a little QSO with um, Oscar Echo 2 Charlie Uniform Mike, who um, very kindly put up with my dreadful CW and um, and sent beautifully clearly for me, exchanged 579s, and um, yeah, uh, the, the, the deck worked beautifully, so um, very, very pleased. I uh, was able to move around um, and very handy that the pencil can't be dropped on the floor um, because uh, when I let go of it at one point uh, I nearly lost it but um, yeah fantastic it's worked uh, very nicely I love the fact that it just holds it all together you can throw it down in the the, the gorse the heather here and um, you don't lose anything and as I said the only thing hanging off the board really for me is the uh, the antenna um, the antenna wire there and the, the headphones, so it makes it a lovely compact little unit. So let me just wrap up this review of the Sota Beams KX1 flight deck with a couple of observations, <coughs> a couple of thoughts. Um, first of all, if you use this particular one left-handed, you'll find that the middle band is a little bit tight on the tuning knob um, because effectively you're putting the radio on this side of the deck. It's not awful. You can pull it over to one side and out of the way. I think it probably works okay. Um, maybe the trick will be to use slightly stronger bands um, either end so that it's fully secure with just two bands without using the central one or perhaps a couple of extra holes that aren't typically used for the right-handed user that can be used when you flip it over as a left-handed user. I think that would just 
slightly improved the design. Uh, next, that little bit of rubber <laughs> to put on the pencil. I just can't get it on. It's um, it's a little bit tight and I'm not quite sure what the trick is. So um, maybe a little bit of heat shrink would have um, would work really well. Um, just need something that you can actually get over the pencil with the string underneath it uh, that will hold the, the pencil tight. Very, very minor point that, sorry. Um, and, and finally, uh, now this is a personal observation because I'm still very new at CW and I tend to write down a lot of the QSO, whereas I know people who are a little bit more adept just write the key information, signal report, name, um, location, that sort of thing. So I tend to write a little bit more and I find that size pad a little bit on the um, small side for a, a typical QSO. Um, I quite like the A4 format that um, I use as, uh, at, at home, just using a normal clipboard. And it allows me to have an A5 pad at the bottom, which gives me just a little bit more room for writing on. Again, it's just, uh, I'm not that great at CW and I need to work on that a little bit. And uh, it would make it a lot easier if I had some more room to, uh, uh, to write down the, uh, the details on. But that said, that really is it. This is a fantastic piece of kit, incredibly lightweight, tucks away um, into the back of your backpack. It's it doesn't take any space really um, and just it makes operating so easy just just look at that just that's the whole the whole station there on a single board you just can't get wrong so congratulations Richard You've done a fantastic job and um, I, uh, I, I hope to buy a lot of different radios so that I can try every single one I'm not going to talk about it here today, but uh, whilst testing my KX1 flight deck, um, I'm also using one of Richard's link dipole kits, uh, which I've used to make a 20, 30 and 40 meter link dipole. Um, one of his lovely bags for putting it all in as well. Um, very, very good, works very well. Uh, basically bought um, the link dipole kit, which gives me the centerpiece the links and crocodile clips and um, everything you need to put uh, a, a dipole together. Oops. Um, I also bought uh, some of the high vis uh, cord from him and uh, uh, coax, ready made up for the very, very thin coax. Um, this is the actually, is RG174, so this stuff is fantastically light as well. It goes up on the I've got a 10 metre SOTA pole here as well from, uh, from Richard. Um, so it goes up on the pole very well without causing the top to bend, even with the antenna mounted very high. Um, and I've used some very, very light wire uh, to make the actual dipole. So as I'm having a go with my KX1 flight deck today, I'm also trying out my new link dipole, but uh, I'll maybe do another video and talk a little bit about uh, the, the link dipole kit another time. Thank you very much. <laughs> just, just about to record a clip and there is a Second World War bomber just flying straight over the top of me. That is absolutely Yeah.